I don't want to see Taylor Swift on my TV screen anymore. I understand why the NFL keeps showing her on TV broadcasts, but it needs to stop. Since 2023, when Taylor Swift and the Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey made their relationship public, the NFL has been marketing and promoting these two individuals relentlessly, and I, like many NFL fans, are tired of it. We sit down to watch football, not see the reactions of a player's girlfriend. My younger sister has been a Taylor Swift fan since she first got famous, so I've been exposed to so much Taylor Swift content, which is fine but I don't want to see her on my NFL broadcasts. If you are watching a Chiefs game and she's in the stadium, the broadcasters show her during the pregame shows, during the game, and in the postgame, regardless of the outcome. It's gotten to the point where it seems like anytime Travis Kelsey is targeted on the offensive side of the ball, the broadcast shows Taylor's reaction to the play. If Travis catches the ball for a first down or a touchdown, they show her celebrating. If Travis doesn't complete the catch, they show her cringing. If Travis gets injured on the field, they show her worrying. If the Chiefs are losing the game, they show her disappointed. It's getting ridiculous. I get that this relationship is getting Swifties to watch the NFL, which is boosting their numbers, but we all know that this is just short-term growth, and these fans won't be sticking around when this PR relationship ends, which it will. And I'm not even putting the blame for all this on Taylor Swift. It's more the fault of NFL producers or marketing or whoever is constantly showing her. I mean, at least be consistent. Other NFL players have famous girlfriends and wives. How come anytime Russell Wilson does something in a game, Sierra isn't shown? How come Giselle Bunchen wasn't shown nonstop back when Tom Brady played? How come Olivia Munn or Danica Patrick weren't on the screen constantly when Aaron Rodgers was dating them? Instead, as an NFL fan, you are forced to look at Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey, and the current NFL golden boy, Patrick Mahomes, constantly. And even when the game is not on, you see commercials with those same faces. The Kelsey family have been doing a good job of transitioning their football careers into becoming clout demons which I can't fault them for, but I don't think that the NFL marketing department and NFL-related media should continue to help them do it. As an Eagles fan, I love Jason Kelsey on the field, but ever since his Mummers outfit Super Bowl speech, his popularity has increased exponentially, and I don't think it's really deserved. He released some documentary series about himself for some reason, which included his whole family, and I just don't get the appeal of it. Travis Kelsey has been a clout chaser for years now, like when he did that dating show completely centered on himself. Last season, both the Chiefs and the Eagles made it to the Super Bowl, and that created a lot of attention for the Kelsey brothers, who happened to have coincidentally started a podcast, which was promoted by NFL social media accounts, and that entire season made their mom famous. Their mom, an old lady, is famous now because she popped out two good football players over 30 years ago. Why, man? Just why? She obviously now has to capitalize on that fame by selling cookies and doing interviews. Like, I'm just tired of seeing these people on my TV. The NFL has over 1,700 players that they can advertise to fans in a single season, but they just show the same handful of people. Can we see some variety for once, please? Hopefully the breakup will happen soon, because I can't get away from the Kelseys and Taylor Swift. It feels like she is being shoved down my throat from everywhere. Besides, after 13 failed relationships, there's one common denominator here. Who's the real problem? Just saying.